Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you are watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and today I am going to talk about low back pain and today we are going to talk about chronic low back pain, long-standing low back pain because acute low back pain is a different story, right? So many of us will definitely have low back pain once in a while. So let's talk about it, what causes it, what treats it, how it is, uh, no diagnose, what can you do about it, okay? The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. So what is low back pain? Like low back pain refers to that pain which you feel in your lower back and you may also feel some stiffness, decreased movement in the lower back and even difficulty in standing straight. So this is low back pain and low back pain is which is for a long time is called chronic low back pain. Okay, so what causes low back pain? The big question, what is the reason, right? Low back pain is very common and almost everyone has back pain at some time in their life and often the uh, exact cause of that low back pain cannot be found. But, but one thing is sure, a single event may not have caused your pain. You may have been doing many activities such as lifting in the wrong way for a long time, right? Then suddenly one simple movement such as reaching for something or bending from your uh, waist leads to pain. So that you feel that maybe that is the reason but that is not, that is not the only reason, right? Many people will develop chronic back pain with arthritis, right? They might have arthritis, right? Or uh, they may have some extra wear and tear of the spine because of some other disease, which might be due to uh, some injuries or fractures, some uh, post surgery, some heavy use or from heavy work or even sports. So these all might be the reason. You may have a herniated disc also. Herniated disc in which a part of your spinal disc is pushed into the nearby nerves. So normally the disc provides you know space and cushion between your spines. So there is a space and there is a cushion between your spine and if this disc dries out and becomes thinner and more brittle you can lose movement in the spine over time. So this disc can actually cause problem and if the space between the spinal nerves and spinal cord becomes narrowed because of disc prolapse you know this can lead to compression of the nerves spinal stenosis and this is a major problem this problem can cause a lot of issues this is basically called uh, degeneration degenerative disease degenerative joint or spinal disease because it causes degeneration of the nerves right so spinal stenosis is a major thing, right? Then there are other possible reasons for chronic low back pain, which is like if you have uh, abnormal curvature of the spine, if you have kyphosis, your scoliosis, right? That is if your spine is more angulated like this or sometimes it's angulated to one side. So that is one thing. Then uh, there are medical problems like fibromyalgia, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, then there is something called a spiriformis syndrome. This is a pain disorder in which uh, a muscle in the buttocks is there which is uh, called piriformis muscle is involved and uh, there is pain because of this muscle involvement. So you might have piriformis syndrome also. Now you are at a higher risk of developing low back pain if you are over the age of 30, if you are overweight, if you are pregnant, pregnant people have a lot of problem, then if you don't exercise, if you 
feel stressed or depressed, you have a high chances of low back pain. Yes, if you have a job which requires you to do heavy lifting, bending, twisting or involving the whole body vibrations or something like that, such as truck drivers or using a you know, sand blister, etc. Truck drivers, then it's more likely that you might have low back pain. Even smokers, smokers have high chances of low back pain because of degeneration would be uh, increased because of the harmful effects of smoking. So more than 7000 chemicals in smoke. We have already discussed this in the smoking video. If you haven't watched that, go and watch that. Then what are the symptoms? Obviously you have pain. You have dull aching pain. Sometimes some people have sharp pain. Some people have tingling or burning some sensation, tingling numbness. Some people have weakness in the legs or even the feet. So the uh, symptoms can vary, right? Low back pain may differ from person to person and it might be mild, but if it is very severe, then it's possible that you might not be able to move at all. Depending on the cause of your back pain, you might have pain in the legs, hips, or even bottom of your foot. So pain, can also give us some idea where might be the source for examination how do we diagnose it okay uh, first most important thing is physical examination once you go to the doctor orthopedician healthcare provider you basically pinpoint the location of the pain and then we try and figure out what is causing the problem and you need to tell us how it affects your movement and your daily life then there are other tests which we do apart from physical examination which depend upon your symptoms, your medical history and the test might include some blood tests because we might need a complete blood count, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR to rule out arthritis and a CT scan might be done of your lower spine to look for disc herniation, and to look for bony abnormalities and MRI scan may be needed to look for disc herniation, then myelogram or x-ray or CT scan of the spine after. Now there is something called as myelo x-ray might be done that is the most commonly done test and then there is something called as myelogram. Myelogram is an x-ray or CT scan of the spine after dye has been injected into the spinal cord so that we can see the spinal cord whether it is getting compressed or not. So blood test, CT, MRI, X-ray, myelogram, all these tests, some of these tests might be needed. Maybe all of them might be needed, right? So orthopedician decides, spine doctor, spine surgeon, they decide what is the best test for you. X-ray can be done on your own, right? Then you can consult a the doctor. Then treatment. All right, see your back pain may not go away completely. It depends upon the cause, obviously, right? or sometimes it may get more painful and sometimes you might be at relief, right? You need to learn to take care of your back at home and you need to know how to prevent repeated episodes of back pain. This and only this can help you continue with your normal life, normal activity, right? So your doctor will give you a lot of recommendations, some measures to reduce your pain which uh, would be something like you might you'll be given a brace a back brace to support your back which might be like a belt you might be asked to apply cold packs or sometimes heat therapy depending upon the reason the cause uh, obviously if there is arthritis you will ne or uh, something like injury right? if we sub uh, if we suspect an injury you will not apply heat uh, uh, therapy you will apply cold therapy if there is arthritis then also cold and heat therapy they are uh, used anyways just use that much then traction might be used traction is a good uh, technique physical therapy physiotherapy involving stretching and strengthening exercises are also very good counseling is one very important part we, where you are taught you learn the ways to understand and manage your pain then massage therapy, then uh, acupuncture and other therapies are also available. Someone who does spinal manipulation can also help you like a chiropractor, osteopathic physician or a physical therapist, right? 
these people are helpful in low back pain, chronic low back pain. But if needed, if needed, your doctor will give you medicines, right? That is if needed. Nowadays, we start with the medicines. But okay, if needed, you might be given medicines. Uh, medicines like aspirin, naproxen, ibuprofen, these can be obtained from the pharmacy without a prescription and can be taken occasionally. Don't take it daily for a long time. It's bad. It has a lot of side effects. Then low doses of prescription medicines are uh, okay, right? But if your pain is not settled by them, then you might need higher doses or opioid medicines, narcotics to actually manage your pain uh, if your pain is actually very severe, right? So if your pain does not improve with medicines, physiotherapy and other treatments, your doctor will recommend uh, something like epidural injection. So epidural injection is an injection given into your spine and uh, by that uh, they can actually relieve your pain. And something like a spinal surgery can also be considered only if you have nerve damage. If you have nerve damage or the cause of back pain uh, does not heal after a long time, then you can actually go for a spinal surgery. And in some patients, uh, spinal cord stimulator can also reduce the pain, right? Like uh, spinal cord stimulation in which a small device sends electrical current to the spine uh, to block the pain signals, right? That is something new which you can do and you can talk to a doctor about that and spinal surgery is obviously done only if you have no damage. Some people with low back pain may also need a uh, job change because their job, their profession might be the reason because of, of their low back pain. So they might need job counseling. They might need a uh, job retraining, right? and occupational therapy if they are actually disabled. So this is uh, everything which I can tell you about low back pain at the moment. So we will also address another video where how to take care of your chronic low back pain in detail. Like chronic low back pain in detail, how to take care of that is a different topic. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you receive the notification for that video as well. And don't worry, low back pain is a very common problem. Uh, the only way to prevent that is good posture. Having a good posture, lifting, do not lift weights without actual, uh, you know, warm up and uh, uh, stretching. So it's very important to follow rules, right? That is the key. And listen to your body. Listening to your body is the most biggest help which you can get, which you can do, uh, with biggest favor which you can do to your body. So that's all for today guys. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to share and subscribe this channel. Hit the bell icon, share this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the video so that I know you liked it. And I'm a doctor, consultant, physician, cardiologist, Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital and you're watching my channel. So stay connected, stay healthy.